Boom, ba doom, ba doom, dee dee, boom. Oh, loo loo, little loo loo, little loo loo, with freckles on your skin, always in and out of trouble, but mostly always in. Using dad's necktie for the tail of your kite, using mom's lipstick for the letters you write. Little loo loo, little loo loo, there's no one quite as smart. Doesn't matter what you're doing, you're doing it with your heart. Shiny curls are dancing, there's a sparkle in your eye. When can we look forward to your next surprise? What a surprise! Oh, the clock says 7.30, it's really after 10. Looks like Lulu's been repairing it again. Though you're wild, Why? you know it's true, Lou. And you're very hard to take. Little Lulu, we love you, Lou, just the same. The same, little Lulu, we love you, Lou, just the same. my mom and dad saw a cockroach in our kitchen. The first thing they did was rip the kitchen apart looking for it. When they didn't find it, they called the exterminator. Wow, talk about a neat title, the exterminator. Anyway, he came over and sprayed toxic stuff all over the house and said we had to stay away for 12 hours. And when we got back, mom and dad ripped up the kitchen again looking for the cockroach. They didn't find it. I guess the exterminator did a swell job. But I'm really worried my parents will find out it was me. I mean, I had the cockroach and he got out of the jar. I hope they don't have to call the daughter, Minator. Open up, Wilbur. I'm not leaving until I collect my money for delivering your newspaper. There it is, Tubby. <laughs> huh? Hey! <laughs> now my fish have someone to play with. <laughs> Tubby, did that Wilbur play another trick on you? He's a paper boy's worst nightmare. Here, I'll give it a try. Lulu, what a nice surprise. Cut it out, Wilbur. Just give me Tubby's money. And no tricks. Tricks? Me? Oh, Lulu, I would never. There's Tubby's money on the table, all ready for him. Yeah! That money's red hot! Here, I'll cool you off. <laughs> Time someone cool you off. <laughs> I'd better go find out what's keeping Lulu. I'll go in the back way in case old Wilbur is waiting for me. Uh -oh. Great idea, Sid. Pretending Gosh. to be plumbers. We's gonna waltz right in there and heist old man Van Snob's money. <gasps> Let's get to work, Bart. Robbers? May I help you? Yeah, by giving us all your dough, Van Snob. Yikes! I gotta do something! You can run, but you can't hide, Wilbur! Aha! Uh -huh. I know where you're hiding! Okay, Wilbur, come out of there! Hey! Ouch! These teeth are like spikes! My bear trap worked! <laughs> oh. Wow! Look what I found, Wilbur! Huh? Give me that money, Lulu! Only if you put the stool back and get me out of here! Wilbur? Where's Lulu? Tubby! I'm in here! Lulu? Swallowed by a bear? Oh my gosh! I wasn't swallowed! I'm stuck! Stop! You can't... Huh? Who are they? Crooks, who have come to steal your dad's cash. What are we going to do? We've got to stop them, buddy, old pal, Lulu, old gal. Get inside those other heads. I've got an idea. Okay, Van Snob, where's the safe? Give me back my leg. I'll show you. Oh, please, don't hurt me. It's behind the painting. All right.
right now. Open it. Okay, okay. Hey, there's just a buck in there. He must have read about our robbing spree in the paper and got worried, so he put his dough someplace else. Newspaper? Huh. My paper boy never delivers them on time. Maybe that's why he doesn't pay me on time. Did you hear something? Nah, phew. Wait! Maybe he hid the dough. Well, let's check out one of these heads. Hey! This bear's got sharp teeth! The better to bite you with! Yow! <laughs> Help me, Bert! It's got me! <laughs> so, you just want to fight, huh? Oh! Ow! Officer McNabb, Van Snob here. I'm being robbed. Hurry to my mansion. Uh, I'll pull you free. <laughs> my prize trophies? <laughs> oh, let's get out of here. <laughs> what in tarnation? Please help. <laughs> Get inside! It sure looks that way, boys. Oh, thank you, thank you, Lulu. This is for saving me a fortune. Twenty dollars? Wow, thanks, Mr. Van Snob. What about my paper delivery money? If you start delivering the paper on time, Tubby, I'll start paying you on time. I can't believe it. Kids, kids! Obviously, those crooks didn't know that sometimes kids can be real animals. You know when a bumblebee buzzes around you and everyone says, don't move and it won't hurt you? Well, this bee the size of a helicopter was on my nose, but I listened. I didn't move. And it stung me anyway. So my advice is, the next time a bee is checking you out, forget the statue act. Try a rolled-up newspaper instead. Some people think that swatting bumblebees away is cruel. Seems to me that getting stung and having your nose swell up to the size of a grapefruit is pretty cruel, too. But if you do get stung, remember the bee's going to leave the stinger in your arm along with half its internal organs, so you'll at least have the satisfaction of knowing he'll never be doing that again. story. Oh no, I have to pass by his house to get to my house. I bet he's waiting for me, itching for a story. <laughs> I guess I'm too smart for little Alvin. Hiya, Lulu. Tell me a story and make it a 
a good one. The last one wasn't very good. Let me think. Let me think. I know. I'll tell you the story of Shirley the Shadow. Shadows don't have names. This one did. And it belonged to a little girl until she lost it. Ha! You can't lose your shadow. You'll see. <clears throat> now, ever since the little girl could remember, she always had a shadow. A little girl shadow. Cute shadow. Hey! Do you mind, mister? You're standing on my shadow. So? Let's see how you like it. There, 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 and there! We sure showed him, didn't we, Shirley? Now let's go do our shopping for Mom. Gosh, Shirley, looks like everyone's out shopping today. Hope they're not all looking for the thread Mom wants. I guess everyone is looking for thread, Shirley. Shirley. Now stay close. I'm gonna try and reach the counter. Wait a minute! How could a shadow pull the little girl out of the way like that? I told you. Shirley the shadow was a very special shadow. Now listen. <laughs> oh! Got it! Funny? I feel kind of strange. Everything's here, so what can it... <gasps> Shirley, this is no time for games. Shirley? Shirley? What's the matter, little girl? Wait a minute! What's Officer McNabb doing in your story? It doesn't matter who it is. It could be any police officer. Oh. What's the matter, little girl? I've lost Shirley. She's gone. She's never been alone before. I've never been without her. I can't live without her. What does Shirley look like? She's flat, can be big or small, and tall or short. It depends on where the light is. Sounds to me like you lost your shadow, little girl. I did! I don't have time for these games. The thread counter. Don't worry, Shirley. I'll find you. Hey! Who did that? Let's go! Watch it! I hope you're here, Shirley. That's not you. No. Someone stole my dress! I've lost her. Forever! <laughs> Everyone has a shadow. Everyone and everything has a shadow, but not me. Old shadows, bring your old shadows here. Secondhand shadows for sale. Wait, mister, maybe you have Shirley. Shadow of a nail, shadow of a ball. Shadow of a little girl? And I'll bet it'll fit you like a glove. It's my Shirley. I'll take her. That'll be 25 cents. I don't have 25 cents. Sorry, kid. No cash, no shadow. But, but... Hey, I know. Mr. Shadow Man, you lost your shadow. Well, so I have. Trade? Oh, gosh! I'm so happy! I'm not! I'm going! That was a stupid story! Bye, Alvin. And you're welcome! Bowie! Come on, Shadow. I'm thirsty. It's our favorite, lemonade! kids can act pretty gross, because we learn it from our parents. Like, what's the deal with handkerchiefs? 
At least when us kids blow our noses, we throw the tissue away. We don't put it back in our pocket so we can use it again later. And toothpicks. I mean, if grown-ups are gonna pick their teeth in a restaurant, why not just go for it? Ask the waiter for dental floss. Oh, yeah, and when grown-ups clear their throats in public, they just go, <clears throat> But when they're home, they sound like a space alien from a monster movie. <clears throat> So the next time someone asks you where you picked up your bad habits, just say you learned them from the best, your parents. Dad, can I have a dog? Ask your mother. Mom, Dad, please, 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 can I have a dog? Maybe. Oh boy, I'm getting closer. <laughs> <laughs> That'll teach you to run about on the streets. <laughs> hey there, little flea bag. Know what happens to bad dogs without a master? They go to the dog pound. You're gonna pay for that. Oh, I hate dogs and think they're smarter than me. You've almost worn your parents down, Lulu. If you keep it up, you'll get that dog for sure. Another few days and they'll be begging to give me one. If I promise to stop asking them. <laughs> What's the matter, fella? You running away from someone? <laughs> Dog catcher! Come on! <sighs> I think we lost him. <gasps> huh? oh, Smart puppy. Should keep him busy for a while. Die! Uh -oh. uh oh! You break it, you pay for it. <laughs> Interested in a makeover, sir? The dog, kid. How about some perfume to go with your new look instead? Oh. <laughs> when a customer uses makeup, he has to pay for it. Oh, how sweet! A raincoat for a dog. Dog? Here. Oh, I must buy one. Give me that dog. <laughs> <laughs> Now look what you've done. I'm calling the manager. You already know our policy about breaking things. So how do you plan to pay for that doggy raincoat? Cash or check? May I help you? I'm looking for a dog. It's a toy. Of course it's a toy. This is the toy department. If you want a real dog, I suggest you go to a pet shop. <laughs> Excuse me, I'd like to buy a stuffed dog. I'll take that one. He's so cute. Give me that dog. You again. <laughs> <laughs> Your dog just bit me! Don't be ridiculous. It's just a toy! 
I'm going to find him <gasps> if I have to tear this place apart. Ahem. We have a very clear store policy on customers who throw toys around. Tell me another time. What, why, you, you, no good for you. Come back! Come back! Aren't you forgetting something? Don't oh, sir. Take it all. At least I've got that dog and these kids. <laughs> hmm. A profitable day. I've got this one. <laughs> Can I have a dog, Mom? Yes, dear. Huh? Your mother and I talked about it, and we decided that you could have a dog. Oh, goody! <laughs> no, no, we meant one dog. I know. Tubby and I will find homes for the others. So, do you know which one you want to keep? You bet. What do you say? I just did one of those surveys in my mom's fashion magazine. Wow! I want to know who comes up with the questions they ask. Like, if you were stranded on a desert island and could only bring one thing with you, what would it be? Gee, I don't know. Maybe a boat? <laughs> or what do you look for in a friend? Well, I don't look for anything in a friend, but if I ever do, I hope I'll find a heart, lungs, and maybe a liver if I'm lucky. Or, if you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be? Well, I'd have to say my address, so that people couldn't send me silly magazine surveys. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 